As summer fades, the gate to the dark half of the year creaks open with the Festival of Samhain, the Eve of All Hallows, Halloween. Originating from the Hill of Ward in County Meath, Halloween didn't reach American shores until the arrival of Irish immigrants in the 19th century. A significant tradition was the carved Samhain lanterns made from turnips, potatoes, or rutabagas. These, designed to resemble the human skull, held a small flame. These eerie lanterns, though meant to scare, held a small flame intended to keep evil at bay, a symbol of light in the dark of the year. Now let's dive into the captivating tale of Stingy Jack, the origin of the term Jack-o'-lantern. Jack, known for his cheekiness and stinginess, had an unusual acquaintance, none other than the devil himself. Jack tricked the devil not once but twice, using cunning tactics and a silver cross. But when Jack's time came, neither heaven nor hell would open their gates for him. The devil, still smarting from Jack's tricks, refused him entry to hell, leaving him with nothing but a burning coal to light his way in the eternal darkness. Jack placed this coal in a homemade lantern and so, as he wandered through the darkness, he became known as Jack of the Lantern or Jack O'Lantern. When the Irish set foot in America, the tale of Stingy Jack took on a new form. That form was the pumpkin, a native gourd of the Americas. The Irish immigrants found it to be a perfect medium for their lanterns, and thus, our modern Jack O'Lantern was born. This makeover marked a new era for the age-old tradition as it began to spread far and wide. Today, carving pumpkins during Halloween has become a popular activity worldwide. It's a time for creativity, family bonding, and a bit of spookiness. The faces we carve may be scarier, funnier, or more intricate than those of our Celtic ancestors, but the essence remains the same. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you're interested in more of the Botanic Mystics.